Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. Uh, I found out recently that my YouTube videos were. Well, we'll get to that. Good luck. Uh, I found out recently that the last few seconds of the YouTube video weren't rendering the way I'd hoped for. And that um, I had hoped. Uh, well, this is interesting. Sorry. I'm getting derailed already. Um, this is playable here, so I've heard. Uh, right, because that pawn is hanging. Now it's not hanging anymore, so now to continue this way... Do I have to close the diagonal, or is this just the thing that I do? Um that other players don't do. Hmm. Um, don't think I need to close it. I've studied this before, and I keep repeatedly forgetting it. But I think this is fine. Um, let's get the king out of here. So, oh, that's fun. Interesting. Well, this is not voting well. Let's just keep going. So the last 30 seconds of each video, we're showing links for other videos, something that YouTube calls an end slide. And I'd only intended that that be shown for the last five seconds, so as not to interfere with gameplay or anything we enjoy from watching. Um, so, uh, I've fixed that on about 50 videos and have a lot more to fix it on. But it'll get corrected eventually. Um, this is kind of interesting, at least to me. You know, I'm going to just drop the bishop here, because that looks kind of fun to do. So normally I would put the, the bishop on the longest diagonal of the board. This is actually some form of disadvantage to put it on the other diagonal, the parallel diagonal. But um, this gives I op my opponent and I an opportunity to learn more things about how this opening works. So that's my justification. Uh, I can bring up the silver, I could take the pawn and just keep moving forward. Eventually they might do rook takes pawn, I'll drop a pawn out here, promote it, and something like that. Um, um, they are offering a bishop for a gold general. I guess we accept. I'm not trying to play traps, but when the opponent does something like that, how should I respond? Um, now they want to drop something around here somewhere. I'm still not seeing exactly what they intend to drop, but this looks much better for me than for them. Um, I'm just trying not to mess this up. But I think both recaptures are fine. This is bad about for the subject of keeping your king and rook separate, but otherwise looks acceptable to me. Uh, this threatens the head of my bishop. Uh, however, I can defend that. Now this gold is in front of the pawns, so it's not defending the king. I guess it seeks to join the rook here. 
Um, Nana Fun. Let's see. How do I? Oh, right. This is pretty cool, actually. Um, I have a choice of which to take here. Well, I take the silver, right? Because a silver is worth more than a gold. Except a gold in front of the king might not be worth as much. Um, they have a pawn dropped that they're threatening, but they're also threatening to take here. The impulsive thing to do would be to kick this and see how things go. Which seems kind of fun, but let's not. Um, the less impulsive thing would be to move this forward. I guess that would provoke the silver move. And I don't necessarily want to provoke that here. Um, yeah, this looks interesting. Let's give back the material. We can be generous today. All right, so I'm threatening a knight, I'm threatening... Oh, they drop this, or they move this forward, rather. I missed that. Um, dang, I was too generous. Uh, that's no good. I was unexpectedly generous, let's put it that way. All right, so I'm still attacking the knight. I'm still threatening a silver drop over here. They do bring their gold general into no man's land. Um, okay, so I'm threatening to drop something on the rook's head and then promote it. I'm also threatening the fork that we all know and love and have suffered many times through. Just checked my overlay. Does look fine, in fact. So, they block this diagonal, um, but this subjects the knight to a pin. Uh, maybe I should have dropped the pawn here instead of immediately hitting the knight. I, well, shit. This is too interesting. Go -hoon. I've got too many advantages here. Um, okay, this seems like the lightest attack, so let's start with that. Um, if they try to break this down, we take the knight, we take the rook, we drop a rook. This all looks pretty great. Um, if they block that, no hurry. I can take the gold general first, or take the knight, or take the bishop. Um, hmm. All right, I run away. Okay, my rook is attacked. At least this turn it is. Um, Interesting. Okay, I attack your knight. 
I'm also threatening a gold drop here. And you might question, is a gold drop there really a threat? We'll find out, won't we? The reason it might be a threat is because I'm also threatening a pawn drop here, rook takes silver drop, hitting the rook, and gold drop here, mate. So, the mate threat is on. That's the point. So we're threatening two checkmate and one threats. Um, also the knight's hanging. Okay, they defend their king and abandon the rook. Um, <laughs> How do I do this? Gold, king, Something. gold, king, take here, take that, and I can win it all back. It's fine. Check. Oh, I'm down to three minutes. I think this is great, though. I think this is excellent. So I have a rook at a time where having a rook is a very good thing. Also, I'm about to win the gold back if they do drop it, or if they take my bishop. Um, also, I'm threatening to simply take this gold general if it doesn't move. So that's pretty good. One down, two to go. Good luck. Hmm. Oh dear, what have I done? Why did I do this? I saw a bishop exchange, and I panicked. This is not good. Hmm. I mean, it could be worse. I've had worse before. But... Asking what I'm doing here would be a very legitimate question. Um, what the hell am I doing? We need to put some pressure over here. They've already reacted to it, but I'll put it anyway. Um... Hmm, is a rapid castle inadvisable here? I don't know. <laughs> there it is, the rapid castle. Um, okay. Running, running, running. Uh, okay. I'm confused as all can be, but I think I built the castle. Confused would be definitely quite accurate here. Um, so we'll see how badly I get whomped. They block their bishop. I'm very very confused at this moment. Keeping this bishop diagonal open I thought was like essential to what they're doing. Um, so I'm quite astounded to see this development.
The bishop has to escape this way, right? Am I crazy? Like... What is this? Okay, here's the sack. Oh, thank you. Oh, right, so they're gonna move the silver up if I don't recapture immediately. Uh, I did not think this through. I should have moved, used my silver as part of all of this. Oh, chimney cricket. What is this? Um, so they're not going to do silver takes if I take this. So this still seems like a useful thing to do. Um, as does aiming at the castle, like right where the king's at. Um, what am I overlooking? Nanafun. What am I overlooking? I gotta take this, right? I mean, that's gotta be the right fighting move here. Um, and then this looked correct to me. Because it seems to present some problems. Uh, I guess I'm trapping my bishop. Mm-hmm. Okay, I missed that. Or rather, as I'm looking at it again, what do I do? Looks interesting. Hmm. Oh, they have a bishop in hand already, so I should not be afraid to give them the other bishop. Okay. I could use a gold general. Um, oh, if I take here, the silver takes and silver is defending. Um, never mind. That works the opposite of how I imagined. Um, if I sack here, uh, then I drop a gold to fork. They don't have anything to defend with other than the rook, and they're not anxious about giving the rook back. Or they're not excited to give back the rook. So if I retreat the rook, however, yeah, I don't know that that's useful. This looks fun. Let's do it. <laughs> Is it a good idea? Are any of my ideas good ideas? Hmm. Debatable. But that's why we play the game. So they have two bishops and a rook here. I have an attack. Which is worth more? I don't know. Also, they have eight minutes, I have five minutes. How many pawns is a minute worth? 
or how many minutes is a pawn worth? Go okay. So I take the knight, right? Hmm. Wait a second. Let's try to read this out. Pawn drop, silver retreats, ends my attack. Knight drop, king out. Not much better. Um... Hmm. Knight drop. They take this knight. My knight takes here. Check. Pawn takes. Silver drop. I win the rook, but they've already got my knight. Hmm. I drop here, silver takes, gold takes. I don't know. Um, pawn drop, silver, pawn drop. They take a knight, I take a silver, they take back. I'm losing a tempo each time I attack here. Oh, pawn drop doesn't lose a tempo. It just blocks me from using a knight on that same square. Knight first, knight Pawn, the rook takes. Okay, so this is the last turn I'm able to do this, so I'm assuming this is the correct move because the rook forces me to do that right now. I can't delay that. Um, I could promote this, in fact, couldn't I? Um, oh, then silver Thompson. takes. We'd be back where we started. I could promote it, but that would be silly. Um, knight drop, however, would not be the same position. Uh, let's try that. Knights are not the most useful defensive pieces ever. So this seems like a useful way to proceed. If they had two rooks on my back row, I would be scared. However, they do not. I should still be scared because this castle is weak from the side, and look, they got this rook on my back row. So, I should be panicking. I don't know why I'm not. I guess because I just don't understand this. Um... Okay. Let's take this. I thought I had two silvers here. I don't. Um... Pawn up. Hmm. Right, silver drop. I'm just outnumbering them. Um, 
but I don't have mate there, do I? Hmm. Pawn up, silver takes. Gold takes, pawn takes. Two silvers in hand, which does not mate. Um, if I drop a silver out here, they'd have to drop another piece to continue defend. Well, then they just defend this. I don't have a silver drop anymore. Um, hmm. Oh, I'm in time pressure. Check that out. I just don't know, man. Something was possible here. I know it. I just don't know what. I haven't the faintest clue Jubil. how to pull this off. So, I just lose. That's my fault. I was having a good time, though, and I still am. I would like to understand how this is supposed to work, but uh, there's no time here for that. Thanks for the game. Yeah. I don't know how to do this. Practice your checkmates so you don't have to figure it out like I do. Good luck. I oh, shouldn't have done that. Oops. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we have some sort of imbalanced game ahead. Um, that's cool. I guess. Hmm. How do we fight against this again? Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, I've made the game more difficult by my moves here, which generally doesn't seem like a good idea. Um, but we can still make a good fight of this, somehow. Setting up the obvious fork. They don't want to allow the obvious fork. I get it. So, yeah, we can put pressure on the horse in other ways. Um, I 
that ruins the whole point of well the point here I guess is that they want to vacate my corner um, I guess they didn't expect this and this is a bit risky or maybe they did expect it and they're just playing whatever speed they're playing so that I won't understand whether or not they expected things um, Anyway, I'm using a rook. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, they defend against my knight drop. Um, I guess we'll play right side king-ish. Not that there's any structure to be found in this position, but let's pretend there is one. Whoa, that's cool. Um... So an early escape of the king saves eight moves, or is worth eight moves. Therefore, the king is running away from this battlefield. <laughs> Interesting. I didn't expect this. It's kind of a mess. All right, my castle moves away from my king, just to make things more exciting. Mm -hmm. Hmm. What the hell? This is something. This sure is something. The character of this castle is don't bring... The knight somehow defends the king, so don't break that up. Um, that's the character of that castle. So I was tempted a second ago to move the knight away and start, uh, tactics. But this seems like a better way to start tactics. Okay, mission accomplished. And then we can go back. Hmm, what's this? This is the product of my aggressive play. That's what this is. Um, <laughs> I 
This is more fun than I think that they think it is. Bishop takes gold is fun, but not advisable for reasons that are a bit subtle. I mean, okay, yeah, their king looks kind of safe there, but I, I would think twice about this sacrifice. Welcome. So, if they take, I take back. Dragon takes, knight promotes. We exchange some stuff here. I have an aggressive rook and an aggressive horse, and hopefully can make something happen before I get checkmated. Yeah, they have a dragon, but eh, it's a dragon. What's it going to do? I'm expecting they'll instead retreat, and we'll just get to play a more normal game. Oh, this sacrifice. That looks even riskier than the first one. Um, Go for here, it. Here, I don't even lose a move. I don't get it. I don't understand, so they'll have to explain this one for me. They took a pawn. I'm going to take a gold. And then my horse is going to be bearing down on the castle from the side while my rook bears down from the front. So, okay, this is the explanation is that they're intending to promote other stuff. Um, that is a reasonable explanation. Um, is it correct? Well, how are they going to promote it if the gold runs away and comes back? I don't know. So if they promote and I take the promoted piece, what's the next move? I guess they want another piece, and they I just did just give them a piece. Oh, that. Oh, shit. Well, I think still I'm not dead. Um, this is amounting to more than I bargained for. Um, all right, we got two advanced pawns, not just one. Yep, and I could take the horse and I could die. Or I could not take the horse, and I could die. Difficult decisions, these. Um, let's take that. Wow. Okay, then. Um... Let's try to use my horse before I die. Okay, yeah, they see that I'm threatening to trap their rook in. They deal with that trap. Um. Mm hmm. They're threatening this promotion with three Something. pieces on that square. <sighs> what do we do? I don't have checkmate, do I? Alright. Unlike last game, this game I'm going to move. And not just completely time out for moving ridiculously slowly. But this game I'm probably going to lose on account of some dumb tactic somewhere. So that's the trade-off. Thinking too much and thinking too little. In a time control where there just isn't time to think. You either know what you're doing or you don't. But either way you try to enjoy it, because Shogi is a game. Yeah, it's a sport. People play it very competitively. 
for amateurs, it's a game. And I think I'm an amateur, right? Um, okay. Very observant. Um, Nifun. So the side of my castle is about to collapse. And I'm wagering that I survive long enough to checkmate them if they give me the dragon. Um, Ippun Sanjubio. I missed that. Now we have a serious problem. Mm. Now we have a very serious problem. Yep, that's the worst of it. Um, Sanjubio. The dragon's hanging. I just noticed the dragon is hanging. There's also, well, they'd have to defend the dragon to unhang it. Uh. That's an incredibly polite gesture, and I greatly appreciated that resignation there. Um, if there were a way, as we do in the chess world, I would have offered a draw. In chess, we offer draws sometimes in polite games. Um, in cases where one player has been having a very good game and then blunders, and the opponent sometimes is like, well, you played a really nice game. I don't 
But here, in Shogi, there are no draw offers. It just doesn't happen. So, we win the game. That's just how it goes. Hope we enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.